Hi, I'm Dave Rambo, Site Director of the H.H. Bennett Studio. Welcome to our site today. Hey, my name is Jenna. I'm the Visitor Services Coordinator here at H.H. Bennett Studio. H.H. Bennett Studio and Museum is one of the 12 historic sites and museums owned and operated by the Wisconsin Historical Society. We are located right in the heart of downtown Wisconsin Dells. The studio we're in belonged to Henry Hamilton Bennett, a photographer here in the Dells who became the man who made the Dells famous. H.H. Bennett arrived in what at the time was known as Kilbourne City, Wisconsin in 1857 from Brattleboro, Vermont when he was only 14 years old. Due to a Civil War injury of his right hand, he was unable to work in carpentry like he had before the war, and he was forced to reassess his life. It was at this time that he began to pursue the photographic arts. This studio was built in 1875, about 10 years after H.H. Bennett started his photographic career. Photography at this time was a very complicated process that involved several chemicals treating a special piece of glass or metal called a plate to make it sensitive to light, which then allowed you to produce a photograph. Photographs taken on metal were called tintypes and were a very common form of photography in the mid to late 1800s. Today we're going to take you through our tintype experience. The Tintype Experience is a special offering that we have here on site, which allows you to have your portrait struck, as it was known, in the same way H.H. Bennett, or more likely his wife Frankie, would have taken a portrait in this very studio back in 1875. So let's get started. First off, let's take you into the dark room where we prepare our plate. We're using a 4x6 piece of metal that is black on one side to create contrast. This is an important feature. Without it, you would not see the image. We pour an organic mixture on the plate called collodion and put it in a silver nitrate bath. This combination allows the plate to become sensitive to light but we have to wait a couple minutes for that to happen. So while we wait, we prepare the scene we will be photographing. Now that our plate is ready to be put into a light tight holder and brought out to the camera. The red light is in use here because a regular light will expose the plate and we'd have to start over. Since we already set up our camera and scene earlier, we're ready to go. Here we go. Historic photography like this was challenging for the subjects as well, as they had to sit still for about 20 seconds without moving. Only normal blinking and breathing was allowed. Any other movement would show up as blurry in the photograph. Once the exposure time, those 20 seconds, is complete, the lens cap is put back on the camera. No button to take a picture in those days. And we're back to the dark room to develop the plate. We pour more special chemicals onto the plate to develop it. Now it is no longer sensitive to light, so we can turn our normal light on and complete the final step of fixing the image. This allows it to turn from the bluish gray color and what looks like a negative image into a positive image. Hey look, there I am. And here is our finished product, a laterally reversed image taken on a piece of metal, a modern day tintype. For more information about H.H. Bennett Studio and Museum, our tintype experience, or the Wisconsin Historical Society, please visit us online at hhbennettstudio.wisconsinhistory.org or check out our Facebook page today. And we hope to see you soon.